Powered by People. This film focuses on the personal stories of diverse individuals and communities who have travelled from all over the world to build Coventry, including the thoughts of Dave Digger, Anastasia Chokawamba and Tala Patel, as well as Justine Tiemann. They show snapshots of family, friends and workmates on the production line as they speak. Half timber buildings contrast with shots of the smooth curves of an abstract bronze sculpture outside Coventry's Belgrade Theatre. 7 April 2006, I came to Coventry and my life changed from there. The city, the colour, the vibrancy, the boldness, the energy and the hardship. Everything comes together and that's what makes Coventry what it is now. Yeah, it's like I said, Coventry people like, uh, they, you know, you can get on with them. It's, you know, they are the salt of the earth. When I left school uh, in, in May 79, um, there was a job, jobs going, and wanted trainees at uh, Morris Engines. As a young kid, I went in a bit naive and young and there was a lot of older guys there who, you know, look after you, take you under the wings. There's some right, you know, some nice characters. And I think it was a great introduction to my work in life. Through immigration, they sent me in 2005 to Kent in a refugee camp. I was there for almost 11 months in refugee camp. And then they said, we found a place for you to live in Coventry. I didn't know where Coventry was. Being a village girl, you know everybody in the village and they know you. So I found Coventry accommodating that lifestyle that I grew up, having people to call, to laugh with. You know, just being friends with other people that you don't know, you never knew before, but now you become a community, you become family members. I met a hell of a lot of people and you might forget the names and that, but you'll always, they'll always be in your memory. If I hadn't worked in these factories, then I wouldn't have had the experience of meeting these people. My father came in 1951. He actually came by steamer. It took him 21 days. He saved up for his first box brownie, and he just started taking pictures of family, friends, and weddings, and people just got to know him. The photographs were of people standing by televisions, standing by their own cars, just to show them that they were prospering and they were doing well in the city. Within those hardships, my father fondly remembers the warmth of the people that he met. If you want to be involved, there are all sorts of things out there. You can belong to a group. Then you build your relationship with the community. It's a place where we used to just go and hang around and tell stories and eat together. You know, people from different countries. It takes me in different places and do different things that puts all different cultures together as well. I bring my own culture, and then I embrace other cultures as well. Then we become one. You know, you didn't have to be any colour to work on the line. As long as you could, you know, go in, pass the test, you, you know, you were welcome with open arms. The people that came to build those cars, that without um, those people who just came to work hard, um, none of those innovations would have been able to come to fruition. So there's that interesting um, mix between innovation and the, um, the power of the people of the city. I think that shows the strength of the community and people within it. I would definitely put my father and even people that of his era as pioneers that came to the city because they left so much behind and they came to the city with so much hope and that determination and that resilience to make something of themselves and they used to write home and when they were writing they never talked about the hardship that they encountered. For me to have a city that says a people's city it really touches me Everybody is striving to be there for one another. Coventry deserves to be the people of city. You can see that hope within the eyes of the people. For me, it's, it's storytelling is the most important part of it. And also these poor people didn't really have a voice. So I think stories from that time have only just really started to be collected and considered 
important because of that journey, because of how people, um, their experiences and what they lived through. It's difficult, you know, you, you lose track of people, you know, and it's, you don't always keep up with people, but I've still got good friends. I know there are so many things that needs to be done. We still have people that are still lost within the system. If people could just stretch themselves to try to help, the kind of help don't even need money. It just need you. Sometimes it's just to say, good morning, good afternoon, to someone who is just walking out there. Small things like that. So please, don't give up. I know it's not easy, but don't give up. Keep it up, Coventry. Coventry Moves 2021. We are Coventry City of Culture 2021.